Hi guys, it's Sam, and today is Sunday, July 31st. I'm almost 99% sure of that. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's August yet, but I could be wrong. Uh, I thought I would document me trying to get our house ready to be sold. And we, we are not going to be selling and buying at the same time. That's just way too much pressure. So we're going to try to sell this house first and then rent somewhere um, while we look for a house. And the main reason we are selling this house is because it is really old and just too much. We've been doing, we've been maintaining the house, but it really does need to be gutted. Uh, not the entire house, but definitely the bathroom and the kitchen. And we just don't want to do that we have no interest in updating this house and it should really be with somebody who's probably handy <laughs> to do these th to do the things that need to be done in this home uh, we want something a little bit more modern and yeah I thought I would just document the process I have already started but I kind of got I was well first I wasn't motivated to <laughs> to clutter or anything when I say to clutter I mean make piles of sell toss and donate I just haven't had the motivation and we got a new puppy and that's been challenging and then I haven't been feeling well the last couple of weeks literally no energy to do anything and I've just started to feel better so I've done the bathroom um, and I'm starting in my office slash closet slash makeup room and this room is probably going to be the hardest for me besides the basement and the kitchen just because there's so much stuff in here and I'm trying to make our home look presentable and I know the ideal situation would be to have an empty home but that's just not going to work for us because we're still living here. I'm just going to try to make it not so cluttered looking. Right now I am standing as close to the door to this room as possible. If you recall I had my jewelry branch up there and a whole bunch of stuff up here but I decided to clear everything off and just leave that <laughs> right there um i did clean hello i did clean my uh, this area even though it doesn't look like it i did clear off some stuff and um i mean those are things that i use every day and i want to keep it maybe i'll hide it like if we do sh um, an open house uh that stuff i have to take care of these are all my electronics that were hiding in that corner that i'm gonna look through and if i have the box i'll put it in the box and you know bring it downstairs um this area is probably going to be staying the same i have to fix this bookshelf here and then my closet here is our bathroom closet um, i fixed my towels here and that is that is my uh, shelf and that has been kind of uh, rearranged and organized. I'm not sure how much what if, when people come by they're gonna open, but I figure they're gonna open some things. And then I we did, there was a bunch of clutter up there, so I fixed that. Um, I fixed underneath down there. Um, and the bathroom needs to be obviously scrubbed down, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, besides the normal routine care, I'm going to do a really good job um, cleaning everything, dust, bunnies, and hair, and things like that, and mildew. Hey, today is Monday, August 2nd, which means I was wrong about the date yesterday, but that's okay. Uh, I wanted to show you the progress of my office slash closet. I'm trying to get it ready for... Uh, us trying to sell this home and as you can tell I decluttered a lot I didn't get rid of stuff but I did take the bulk of it was just so cluttered up here and I think it looks much nicer um these newspapers I'm trying to say my grandmother gets the paper every day and I thought this would come in handy to help us and I did use it to organize some jewelry especially the longer necklaces the thin ones they just always seem to get uh, tangled up and that's something that I find really hard when moving is jewelry how do you guys move do you get one of those things that like have separate compartments that you hang up I don't know uh, closet I still have to work on 
even though the floor looks like a mess, it, there's a rhyme and reason. Uh, my desk, I fixed the folders there and cleared, even though it doesn't look like I cleared it, I did clear it. Uh, that corner was just a black hole for electronics and other things. I streamlined that and just got rid of the bulk. My bookshelf, I'm... It looks stuffed than it is, but I did take out a lot of, um, just, I organized it a little bit better and did get rid of some things, but just looks a little bit organized. I removed the top stuff and I just, this vanity, I don't understand it. I cleaned it, but it looks like I haven't cleaned it at all. I'm going to have to work on that. Okay. <laughs> Today is Thursday, August 6th, and I am currently cleaning the kitchen to make it look a little bit more presentable. Uh, my thought is I'm going to keep this table here, but I'm going to turn it so that it's facing the wall so that it looks like there's a little bit more room. Um, I have to make sure that pantry door closes because right now it doesn't close and just declutter all this stuff um i'm gonna clean wipe down things like the cabinet doors and uh just the floor itself is dirty not dirty i'm sorry but it just needs to be mopped and and uh swept i already did the fridge which i didn't show you i did that that's one of the first things i did was take off the pictures off the fridge uh i cleaned the front of the oven the, these two things are clean, um, but there's just, I tried to use the magic eraser on this cabinet, but it's taking off to paint. So I'm assuming that they painted these and yeah, it's just coming off. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I showed you uh, this side up close, but I just kind of cleaned the, what's that thing called? The dishwasher. Yes. And I am actually right now, uh, cleaning the cabinets they're pretty dirty I try to do best as I can without taking a coat of paint off which is I think that's something very common that people do when they're renovating and they're trying to sell is just kind of cover things up which I totally understand uh, but I just wiped that cabinet that one's not that bad but like down here is the worst so and it was like that I just we just made it a little bit worse uh, living here um, and the floors, you know, they are, they definitely need to be replaced, but by the new owners. <laughs> hey, it is Sunday, August 8th, and I am almost 95% done with the kitchen. There's just a few things here and there that I don't know what to do with, but I cleaned all of the front of the cabinets. I even cleaned the oven mirror, or sorry, not mirror. Um window there it's much cleaner now I cleared the tops of there um, I cleaned this counter strip and I mean the most important thing was cleaning the cabinets because they were just spotted and what I came to find out is just everything was painted over and there was like white paint dripping down everywhere which was fun um, I did clean inside of some drawers. I'm not going to do all of them be just because I don't think it's necessary. This was like this when we came, <laughs> I swear. Uh, but this spot is going to be for the the Instant Pot, which I was concerned about. I didn't know where to put it. Um, I cleaned this mirror over here, which I didn't realize I could have done because it was just so dirty from when we moved in. Uh, but this is all nice and clean. You can read that. Uh, this is clear, which is so nice. And then here is the new coffee tea station. We just went to Costco, so that's why there's a bunch of fruit and things like that. This is also um, a work in progress. These things are going to stay, but like the fruit and just other things that have come here. I want to take care of this door can close all the way but as you can tell from here this door hangs lower it this was from Walmart it wasn't the best quality and we're not going to take this with us when we go but we did clean up in here so that we are able to close it this is like our spices on that side and I did attempt to we're gonna just leave this open because until we have an open house or something but I did clean these cabinets been rearranged I probably didn't need to but I feel like if I am doing 
cleaning the cabinets and like the shelves and things I might as well kind of tidy up just in case they open the door uh, my next my next uh, mission is to clean, that's all garbage for tomorrow, is to clean the dining room, living room, this whole area right here, plus the dining room, and just make things look, you know, presentable. Today is Monday, August 9th, and I wanted to show you what's been happening with the decluttering and everything. So I just cleared out this cabinet uh, our console. I think it's actually a console, but um, we made it into our our liquors are in that cabinet, and this was just odds and ends in there. But I decided to. So the first two rows are my grandmother's things that she always has at the dining room table, and I don't want that to look. Well, I don't want anywhere to look too cluttered, even though this looks probably very cluttered. It's easier, I think, for her to be able to see everything, and I brought up the cereals that she likes from downstairs instead of me having to go up and down all the time to replace it, and she could replace it by herself. Uh, I'm trying to keep her, side note, I'm trying to keep her as independent as possible, even though she fights me every step of the way. Um, and then next I'm going to do this bookshelf. Um, and then I did do the dining room, even though it doesn't look like it. I did do clear it. Um, that chair used to hold a bunch of stuff. That was well. That's what's in this console right now. Um, this is Steve's area. I have asked him to clean it, but it's taking them a while. And then my next goal is over there. Hi. Today is Sunday, August twenty second, I believe, and I'm just gonna show you a quick uh, walk through of what I've got gotten up to so far and. I've dusted, I've vacuumed, uh, I have to do that again before we take pictures. That's going to happen this Wednesday and then possibly open house on Sunday. And just keep in mind, we do still live here. I'm probably overdoing it because I've seen pictures of other people's houses that are being sold while they're still living there. And um, But I just want it to look as nice as possible. Um, I don't feel like it hurts the process. So... Uh, this area is clear. I won't go actually. I won't go in detail, but I'm just gonna scan the room, and you guys could see from uh, earlier in the video what the differences are. And there's a lot, a lot last-minute stuff I have to do, like take the hair off the couch, um, dust and vacuum one more time, maybe possibly mop. Hello. I even tried to clean as much of that window as possible. Uh, and then we're into the kitchen here. I went grocery shopping just in case the storm was worse than it was, which it wasn't. Up there. Uh, I'm not going to show the bedrooms. Actually, I will. I'll show you. This is the hallway. The bathroom. We put... there. This, that was missing light bulbs and it made it so much brighter. I didn't realize uh, how dark it was without them. I try as best to get rid of all of the mildew and mold in here not mold sorry mildew in here uh looks really good i even got behind the behind there like this area like right here behind the where they're holding the, oh, <laughs> the stuff that oh my goodness behind the shower caddy it was a bunch of mildew and i cleaned all that um and then bedroom all this is gonna go for the for pictures the dog stuff yeah hey it is Monday August 23rd I am starting on the basement finally this is something that I've been dreading it's kind of like just a place where we hold everything my sister also lives down here she's been cleaning really well the couch is all going to be cleared out. Uh, sorry, the couch is not going with the stuff on it. And um, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing with that. It's not so much decluttering this stuff. It's just making it look a little bit nicer uh, for when people come to see the house and we take pictures. So my plan is to put all these boxes or as much as I can against that wall and just make it so they can kind of see the space because right now you can't see the floor. Um, 
just you know tidy this area up and then in the laundry rooms sorry the laundry is running it's not that bad on this side because we never put anything on that side uh, but I gotta take all these Christmas stuff out of here make this look nice I probably spend organizing this area tomorrow uh, this stuff I can take now but yeah that is what I'm up to currently so the plan is Wednesday we take pictures and then possibly have an open house Sunday we're not sure um, if that's exactly it's gonna be this Sunday but it's happening today is August 25th the realtor came and went and there's signs in the front so excited uh, here's the front door and then from here sorry that's the laundry bag that has to go down and I'm just gonna give you an overview that's my cleaning supply box um, very nice, very clean. The couch looks clean and nice. I'm gonna put Ava's blankets back in the corner there though. Um, over here. This is probably gonna stay for the open house. Um, really nowhere to hide it. Hello. <laughs> uh, here's the dining room table. You can tell that corner has not that much stuff in it. We used to have all her snack, Ava's snacks and things. Um, over here, it's all cleaned up. This had stuff on top, and we had like this Christmas basket on there. I took that off. Uh, you guys have seen the kitchen. Make sure the pantry doors were closed. So you can see a little bit of the countertop. Um, I showed you this already. Here is the hallway. Sorry, it's nighttime. There's the bathroom mirror clean that dusted showers are clean I'm going through a haunted house here <laughs> um i live with my grand my grandmother lives me so we have like you know the, the shower chair and to help get up from the toilet and then here is the bedroom that is a waterproof sheet um dresser this is cleared. We put this king size bedding for pictures. We'll keep that for the open house. Those are the dogs, sorry. Um, and then here is my room. So just trying to make things look less cluttered. You know, there. Still keeping that here full of stuff. Um, over there. This is clear, and I'm not going to show you my grandmother's room is there, but she's in there, and I don't want to disturb her. Today is Thursday, August 26th, and I was about to conclude the vlog, uh, finish editing, and then I was like, I did not show you guys the basement, so here it is. I cleared off that ledge there. I have a bunch of bug spray things, uh, sorry, mosquito repellent stuff, and just things for outside. I put it in that box. Then I cleared this area out uh, so that if people want to see in that closet, they could. I also cleared this corner. I mean, everywhere you, you could put stuff, I had put stuff. That closet had always remained empty because there's the sewage line under there. And I put my grandmother's uh, high-tech roller in there. Oh, sorry, walker in there because um, it has a seat. So that's like for special events where we have to stay outside for a long time. <laughs> Way too much info about her walker. Uh, and then I'm just going to give you an overview. This is cleared off. Um, I just put that there, but I wanted to clear off most of the counter so they could see, uh, so people could see what it looked like. And then I made sure to uh, have this clear so that people can go into the electrical room and then all those things that were right here in the center I pushed it all the way back and try to make it look as neat as possible this is for donation and the stuff next to here is for me to bring back to school when I start work again uh, the rug we had rolled it up a while ago was over there we pushed it over here this just a little bit neater the bathroom always looked neat and then i'm not going to show you my sister's bedroom and then here we go we forgot this <laughs> this tool was here and we forgot about it 
and it was in the electrical room. I brought it out there in case we need it. And look at that. We can actually walk through without bumping into stuff. I put organized that. I took things off the floor and put them in a box and just, you know, actually put things organized up here, not just throwing everything all in this area, which is what we were doing. Here looks a little bit cleaner. Yeah, and this is their stuff that we're going to leave that was theirs, but we never used it and we don't need it. And here you get a view from this end. Hi everyone, it's Sam and today is August 28th. It's Saturday. Tomorrow we have our open house from 12 to 2. We are all going to be out of here. Our realtor is coming and I'm pretty happy with the way everything turned out. He had come, our realtor had came last Wednesday, took pictures, officially put the house on sale. Uh, put the signs up in the front, which was super exciting. It's so funny. I knew as soon as the signs went down in the front, our neighbor, um, one of our neighbors who's super nosy and doesn't understand the meaning of privacy, uh, she basically accosted me in the backyard yesterday, stick her, stuck her head out the window because from their bedroom they can stick their head out and talk to us anyway uh, she was asking me why we're moving and to lower the price for her family it was bizarre I really couldn't hear her because their air conditioner was blowing as she was talking to me and it carried her voice away I was like this the entire time and it was super hot so I had to end the conversation uh, they're harmless but they're just very annoying sometimes uh, other than that I'm really happy with the way things turned out the pictures that the realtor took were amazing he said there is interest very happy about that those are just interest though and I'm hoping that those translate into bids on this home and we're not trying to make a huge profit here we would just like to make back what we put in and what we paid for the house originally um, but yeah, really happy and doing it little by little, like taking on one room at a time or one area at a time was really, really helpful to me. If you're struggling with trying to declutter your home, just pick one area, even one area of like, let's say the kitchen, like you want to work on the pantry one day, uh, you want to work on the countertops one day, you know, think, take it little by little, especially for me. I know I'm off, but I've been extremely busy with other things and I don't, don't have that much time during the day to work on things. And it was basically, I mean, I had a little help here and there, um, but it was basically me doing it. So I just did little by little. I wrote down all the rooms that I had to work on. And then from there I would, you know, figure out what to do next. Uh, for me though, I have to be actively be mindful of the things that I use and the things that I put on my, let's say my desk and vanity area gets super messy. Even that same day I clean, I will it'll be messy a few hours later. So I, like I said, I have to be actively mindful of the things that I take out and to make sure I put them back. And um, that's for not just this room, for everywhere in the home. Uh, but we're ready for tomorrow. I just have to do last some last minute things like vacuum because we do have dogs here and where you don't think hair could go, it's gone and it's never ending and the dusting, oh God, <laughs> but you know, it's, um, it's just part of owning a home and, um, hopefully we can sell this home and go on to the next step. A lot of people sell and buy at the same time but we are really not interested in that if it happens that we find a home we will deal with it then uh, but it's just a lot of variables that we have to consider um, financially other people that live with us and just take it as the moment comes I know that's probably not the greatest plan uh, but we don't want to buy and sell at the same time it's too stressful and we could be sitting in this home for another six months, you know? Um, so I will update you on the journey. The first step is to sell this home and then we'll move on to the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.